Oof, guys, it looks like another one's about to bite the dust. Eh? We have PacWest down a whopping 22% right now, and that's after it saw a pretty nice rally a couple of days ago, more than just a pretty nice rally. I mean, look at that. It went from 250 all the way up to almost $8, I mean, actually roughly $8, which was a massive move, and now we're back to 475 roughly, down again over 20% on the day, and, uh, well, it's because we got some news that is not good news. So we have a lot to break down in this video. If you guys find value hit that like button make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for mumu it is free money once you guys open up an account you get one free share of stock right off the bat and once you fund your account with at least 100 bucks you get four more stocks totaling five stocks and once you fund your account with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks so if you guys want some free money and you want to help out the channel go down below or go to the side here depending on how you're seeing it with the new youtube layout get your free stocks i appreciate you guys as always always and with that being said cheers let's dive into it so at this point you guys know a lot of these regional banks have been going under from signature uh you know signature bank to silicon valley bank to uh what's the other one that just went under uh first republic bank they just got bought out uh well i guess they didn't go under but they they got seized by the fdic then bought out by um you know uh, what was it called jp morgan right so we're seeing the dominoes falling with all these regional banks guys and it's continuing here with pac west let me actually pull up Safari and break down what in the world is going on right now. So you guys can see PacWest shares tumble 20% after the regional bank says, are you ready for this? Deposits fell 9.5% just last week. That is an enormous amount of money, guys, being taken out of the bank because why is this happening, right? Why is this happening? Well, essentially, guys, people are just panicking. They're like, oh, let me take my money out of these regional banks that are clearly, you know, under distress right now. Again, we talked about Silicon Valley, you know, Signature, um, you know, First Republic and there's a couple other ones. Let me take my money out of these banks. Let me not risk it. And let me put my money in the bigger banks like Bank of America, JP Morgan, you know, Wells Fargo, e even Wells Fargo guys, even though they've had a crazy past, people are taking money out of, let's say a PAC West and they're putting it in Wells Fargo. Let's be honest here. And that's the reality of the matter. People are flooding out of these regional banks and they're putting their money in institutions that are likely, very likely not to go under right? These big banks are most likely not going to experience the same fate that these regional banks are as of right now. So let's come down a little bit here and see what is going on. So the bank said in a securities filing, let me make my face a little bit smaller. There we go, guys. So we can see here, the bank said in a security filing today on Thursday that its deposits, again, like I said, declined 9.5% during the week of May 5th. PacWest said that the majority of these outflows came after after media reports that said the lender was exploring strategic options, which you guys probably saw, that was a big headline. I believe that was last week or maybe the week before. That's after we got news that First Republic Bank was going under. JP Morgan was, you know, buying them out and so forth, right? The bank also said that it was able to fund those withdrawals with av available liquidity. PacWest said it now has $15 billion of available liquidity compared with $5.2 billion in uninsured deposits. Okay, I guess that's a pretty good sign but still people are not trusting it they're flooding out like i said 9.5 percent of deposits have just poof gone away to probably let's be honest these big banks and we can see here during the first quarter pack west total deposits declined by 17 almost 17 percent and the bank said it would use strategic asset sales to reshape its balance sheet and several wall street analysts theorized that the most recent outflows were from pack west venture capital customers, which, okay, that makes sense. And you guys can see here, while the deposit news is not what the company wants to report, if the outflows are truly from the venture depositors and not the core bank, that is better news, which I agree. That is better news, but we don't know that for sure, despite the higher total outflow disclosure. And the financial result is that the company is borrowing more to replace those deposits. RBC Capital Markets analyst John Arfstrom said in a note to clients, and on top of PAC 
West, guys, are you ready for this? Following Pac West filing, Western Alliance released its own update and said that total deposits have grown by $600 million since May 2nd. And you guys can see shares of that bank were down about 4% in morning trading. Elsewhere, shares of Zion, uh, Zion's Bancorp dipped 3.3%, and KRE, which you guys know is the Spider S&P Regional Banking ETF, those shares were down 2.6%. So that's interesting, actually, the fact that Western Alliance, they're seeing their um, deposits increase by $600 million since May 2nd, but I'm, I'm curious uh, how, how much those deposits have declined before May 2nd. Let's say from uh, March, mid-March, up till May 2nd. I guarantee you guys, I'm not exactly sure, but I guarantee you Western Alliance deposits, those declined heavily from the middle of March to May 2nd. And now, sure, the deposits are spiking a little bit since May 2nd, but I'm almost positive. I have to double check, but I'm almost positive their um, deposits are down uh, from the middle of March. Still, even with that $600 million pop since May 2nd. So overall, guys, that is what's going down right now. More turmoil in these regional banks as expected. And am I surprised? No. Are you surprised? Probably not. I hope you're not surprised because these things take time to play out, right? When we had the, uh, you know, the first couple of banks you know, start coming under pressure back in the middle of March, there was no way it was going to be done in a week or two, right? Again, these things take time. And for all we know, this could still be the start of a financial crisis, right? Because I think honestly, this is maybe not to the same magnitude of 08, probably not, at least as of now, it's not. Uh, but there, this is the start of a potential financial crisis. We're seeing cracks in the system. And as long as the uh, Fed keeps rising or raising these interest rates, these smaller regional banks, are going to continue to come under pressure because a lot of their balance sheet was in these bonds that you know that they ended up getting into when rates were very low. So now they're getting smoked on the bonds. They're losing a bunch of money. People are panicking, and well, that's how we've gotten into the situation that we're in right now. And you guys can see PacWest stock is now down 23%. It is getting very close. Well, maybe not very close, but it's uh, it's heading towards the, dire uh, the direction of where the stock was about a week ago in the mid twos. And again, the other ones here, we have Zion's. That one's down about 5% right now, getting pretty close to where it was at the low a couple of, you know, about, about a week ago, a couple of days ago. That was at $18. Uh, $18 and 25 cents. And what else? What was the other one? WAL, that's uh, what's that one again? Uh, Western Alliance, who's seen their deposits increase a little bit from the beginning of May. But again, overall, it's, they, they've got to be down since March. And you guys can see this stock is up a lot from where it was a couple of days ago, about uh, about a week ago, exactly a week ago. It was at $11.30. Now the stock is at $27.50. It is up 150% from that point, which I don't know. Will, will those gains hold time? will tell. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you haven't gotten up to 15 stocks yet for Moomoo, what are you waiting for? Use that link down below or on the side here or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Once you guys open up an account, you get one free share of stock right off the bat. And once you deposit at least a hundred bucks, you get four more stocks totaling five stocks. And listen to this. Once you deposit at least a thousand dollars, guys, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks. So if you guys want some free money and you want to help out the channel, use that Moomoo link. I appreciate you guys as always. And you guys could also get 12 stocks from Weeble with any amount deposited. Check out those details down below as well. Check out my Patreon as well if you if you guys are interested. You want to be a part of the Patreon portfolio, be a part of the Discord chat, all that good stuff. It's on Patreon. And with that being said, cheers, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.